So at all we have saved uh, on, on this project more than 400,000 euros just in, in savings um, because we, we found issues that we wouldn't have uh, recognized before. Copenhagen Airport is an airport that uh, has around 30 million passengers each year and is increasing also in numbers. We have a strategy that we have one airport that have all the terminals together and all the piers. So, uh, so that means that we are expanding some of our terminals. We are trying to, to make the best use of the existing areas also and creating uh, new projects to increase the capacity of the existing buildings and the existing areas to accommodate the, the, the increase of passengers. So, um, so this means we have around 100 projects every year that for every one of them is trying to, uh, to do something with the capacity and increase that also for a better yeah, passenger experience. My role in the project is as part of, a, um, part of the projects we in my department, technical knowledge, handles every data, every BIM models, uh, we handle DIS, uh, and we are kind of the link between uh, asset management operation and also the, the projects going on. And because of, of us having about 100 projects every year, we have a lot of data going in and out of, of the system. Our project right now about the uh, automated quality control is a, a project about giving our asset managers a better tool to uh, quality assurance their projects or the, all the building projects that we have here in Copenhagen Airport. So by doing an automated quality with, with the Solibri, we are creating all their quality assurance um, standards into rules and these rules can be uh, used within uh, the Solibri tool to check all the models. So by this and also because we are uh, handing out these rule sets uh, through our website to all the participants on the projects, then we our uh, asset managers can then demand that these rules are also being used by our uh, stakeholders and our, by our t project team so that um, errors shouldn't be found by the asset managers but should actually be found by the uh, construction team or the, the engineering team at the early stage. We have been using uh, Solibri specifically for two projects. Um, one of the pro projects was a baggage handling project where we, um, for instance, uh, could see that uh, we had one case where a, uh, a technical room that was um, required to have enough space to, uh, that we could deliver larger assets into the technical room. Larger equipment should be uh, installed. That the same demand also requires for the elevator system that we should be able to handle large equipment. Um, and uh, when we did that checking on this project, we could see that the, the access to the technical room was okay, the access to the elevator was also okay. But when we checked the, the path between the elevator and the technical room, we found that the path was actually too narrow in one corner. So if we haven't corrected that in the very early stage, in the engineering stage, uh, that would have cost us a lot of money fixing it afterwards. So that was just one example of something that our asset managers wouldn't have been able to find. We recommend Solibri uh, in, to also other building owners. Uh, we have just recently started a um, collaboration with, with some of the largest building owners here in Denmark in order to convert some of our national building requirements into also rule sets. In that way, we can make a, uh, an open uh, system that is free in Denmark so we can handle out these rules to every project to make sure that our building regulations is met um, during the different stages and phases of the project. Mm -hmm.